woke up this morning, out of bottom of my bed, I looked around, this is what I said, thank you Lord, for another day, all the blessings that's in my way. Good morning. Let us anoint this time that we spend together in prayer. Dear Lord, we come to you in the fear and wonder of your majesty. Today, please grant us spiritual eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear you clearly. Unveil your spiritual truths to us so that we may see your handiwork written through the tapestry of our lives and the people you've surrounded us with. In Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Today I feel like talking about miracles. Let's first define a miracle. A miracle is an extraordinary event that goes against nature. It cannot be explained by science and is caused by God. Second, I would like to say that one changed life is a miracle. Every born again believer should easily be enabled to say, I am a miraculous miracle of the great I am. I know I feel that way because I know the mess I made of my life before I, my encounter with the living God. The four Gospels record 37 miracles of Jesus, with Mark's Gospels recording the most. The New Testament words refer to Jesus' miracles are power, sign, and wonder. Every miracle of Jesus served a specific purpose in God's plan of salvation and restoration for mankind. Of the four record Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, some are repeated. So let's begin with the seven major miracles. Firstly, Jesus turned water to wine. He healed the nobleman's son from a distance. He healed the woman with the infirmity lasting 38 years. Number four, he fed 5,000 people with only a handful of food to begin with. He walked on water and summoned Peter to join him. The healing of the man blind since birth and seven, and then proof that he had power over death by raising Lazarus, a human, from the dead. We can break the miracles of Jesus into three types or kinds of significance to three aspects of who Jesus is. Miracles showed us that Jesus is fully God. They show us that Jesus is fully human. And they show that Jesus is the one and only Messiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. If today you feel poor, brokenhearted, imprisoned, blind or oppressed, today I feel honored to point you toward the Waymaker the miracle worker, the promise keeper, and the light in your darkness. Jesus, the name above all names. Have a blessed day in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.